Hello everyone, welcome to Winter Survival Simulator. Yes, another simulator that is coming soon. And we're going to check it out today. This already looks amazing. Uh, I don't know much about this game at all. I saw it on Steam and I was like, yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Okay. It was very loud in my headphones. I know it probably wasn't for you, but it was for me. Happy Wednesday, by the way. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. We're going to jump into Winter Survival Simulator. And I'm terrible at survival games. You already know this. What the hell just happened? You fell off a cliff there, bro. It looks like a bear came at us. That's what it looked like to me. Ooh. All right. Shit. It's so cold. Oh god, I can already feel it. You know, this is the reason why I live in Tampa, Florida. I, my fingers. I don't miss the don't miss the winter. Body heat. After spending the night outside, your body temperature has dropped drastically. Your hands are frozen, which means you are unable to interact with anything. Let's get those hand warmers. You ever had those before? Those little things you crunch up and put in your hands? I mean, he doesn't have them, obviously, but stand next to any heat source to get warm and regain full control over your body. Tip, your body temperature can be tracked in the top right corner of the screen. H to close. Quest started the long night. Find a heat source. All right. 124 meters this way. That was definitely a wolf howling in the distance. This has got kind of an eerie feel to it, I must say. I knew I should have turned the game sound down a little bit. What? Oh, dude, there's some sounds happening here. <laughs> oh, you. Okay. Okay, 57 meters or so. All right. Um, right. Let's climb up this hill. All right, up and around this way. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. Oh, I got to crouch. Okay, that's what it is. I had a beard hair in my mouth, so sorry about that. Whoa, 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 what's that? What is this? Is that a dead person hanging from a parachute? Oh my God, we're gonna die. God, I have to be careful. Well, do you know this person? Your sanity is lowered by your poor condition and fear of, ch of dangers lurking in the forest. Great. The lower your sanity, the closer you are to madness and further away from survival. Hallucinations are one of the first symptoms of losing sanity. Harmless at first, dangerous later. Tip, be careful when exploring. For example, wolves will intimidate you and lower your sanity. Wild animals may injure or kill you if you approach too closely. Great. This has got some Kona vibes. Dude, well, is our sanity going to drop if we go check out the dead person hanging? Oh, my God. That's horrific. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God. It's so loud in my headphones. Get away. Run, dude. Run. Run, 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 run. We need a heat source. 44 meters that way. Dude, why am I playing? Okay. This turned into a, a horror game very quick. We need a heat source. Frostbite incoming. Ah! Dude, this is terrifying. <laughs> oh, they're up there on the hill. We're now. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I could sneak around wolves. Okay. Dude, I don't know why I'm playing this with my headphones so damn loud. But the audio in this game is really good. I just want to go home too, dude. I just, just want to go home, too. Home. Yeah, just keep going, dude. Sanity was way low. I feel like I'm playing Phasmophobia right now. Okay. And here I was thinking, you know, it's a simulator. And, you know, the running joke on the channel is that, well, they'll make us... Oh, <gasps> hot springs. Finally. Yes, finally. Oh, let's go swimming in this. Ambient temperature. Body temperature. Yeah, we know about that. Depending on the weather and your equipment and the ambient temperature will feel different. Natural heat sources like this geyser, not a hot spring, but a geyser, can warm and save your life. Find and remember the locations of natural heat sources in case of emergencies. Oh, yes. Warm yourself up by the hot... Oh, it is hot springs, but it's a geyser. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Oh, why did you do that? What are you doing? Oh, okay. He's warming up. Okay. <laughs> Dude, scaring me a little bit here. Feels much better. No. Oh, no. Oh, they're right no, there, no. dude. Run. Uh, left shift to sprint. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> run, baby, run. Sorry, my voice is still absolutely trashed right now. From my live stream I had over the weekend. Seven hours of karaoke. That'll do it to you. That'll definitely do it. Just run, dude. I don't even want to see him. I want to hear him. Oh, I hear him. Oh, oh I hear him. 
Why is this? Why is this so scary? Why is this so scary? Avoid dangers such as wildlife heights and take care of others' basic needs. Screw you, dude. My leg. Great. Our leg is trashed now. Where do we go? Okay, some activities leave. Dude, I'm feeling my heart. I'm gonna have myself a little bit of coffee right here. My instant luff, uh, instant lunch. Maruchan. Is it Maruchan or Maruchan? It's coffee. Either way. Sprained ankle. Yep, the buffs make your survival harder, such as frozen hands. In this case, a sprained ankle. Over time, you'll learn about other debuffs, what effect they have, and most importantly, how to get rid of them. Um, limit your movement. One way to remove a debuff is to find a med kit. Okay, well, we'll try to do that. The cabin here. You can go to hell. I should check inside. You can go to hell, little stupid wolf. This reminds me of Kona, man. Stupid wolves everywhere. Can I go over this? Your sprained ankle? Well, he looks like, oh, you can actually see the destruction of his leg there. It's bleeding. Are you following me all the way up? Oh, yeah. He's still up there. <sighs> this is the scariest simulator I've ever played, I think. Dude, it's beautiful, though. Look at the graphics. Aurora Borealis. The Northern Lights. What in the absolute hell is that? It is a... That is a moose or an elk that is... Okay, we're hallucinating. Good to know. What the fuck dude, is I, wrong Dude, I me? don't know what is wrong with us. Oh, Kevin! I have to pull myself together. Yeah, we're done, dude. We are done, done, done. Investigate the hut. This is the hut. <gasps> it's right over there. Oh, dude, it's giving me chills. The sounds are so good in this game. I can't explain it. Maybe you can hear them. You shelter. Dude, close that door. Get the hell out of here. What is that out there? The wolves. Dude. What is this? Wooden log chunk. Investigate the hut. We are investigating the hut. Well, can I make a fire or something? I need to make a fire. Nope. Can't make a fire yet. Okay. Investigate the hut. Ooh, there's a little chest here. We got. I do not like those things. Oh, they want me to get this. What's this? Oh, a med kit. There we go. All right. Open the inventory with I. Okay. Interact with the right mouse button. All right, cool. Right mouse button. Much better. Much better. So, this cold is killing me. Yeah, I know. I need to do something about it. Yeah, let's make a fire or something, dude. We're in here. Okay, starting a fire. Fireplaces and shelters are ready to use. You only need to add fuel to light them. To do this, open up the fireplace UI and click on any fuel item on your inventory. For example, wood chunks. Once you're happy with the amount of fuel, light the campfire by pressing light up. I'm going to light up. Nice. Let's do it. All right, E is the fireplace, and then we just, there you go, and light it up, just like that. I have made there. fire! Is this thing still on? I should save the battery for later. Yeah, we should. Can you turn off the F to okay. toggle the flashlight? Oh, so it has That's a battery. For one day. Dude, that is enough for one day. Are you kidding me? Those damn wolves out there? Scary, man. Yeah, let's just stay over here. Oh, we can sleep on the old bed. Fucking trip. Yeah, it is. I hope the others are doing fine. Press the space bar to wake up. I don't think the others are doing fine. We saw oh, them and they were very much dead terrible. hanging from a tree. Oh yeah. Oh. Right. I have to go back there and get my stuff. Oh great. We have to go back and get the stuff. Well, it's another day. At least it's during the day. Let's get our wits about us. Man, look how beautiful this game is. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. No more scares, okay, game? No more scares. Can we just have a little bit of go get our stuff without any... Oh, this looks like ice, and it is... I'm not touching. I'm not moving. Okay, we're just sliding on the ice here. What's that water? Oh, it's ice. Like when you walk forward and you let go, he still keeps going because he's sliding on the ice. That's pretty cool. All right. Oh! Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. Object updated. Okay, we're all right. We're gonna go this way. Is that what's that? Ooh, canteen. Little are. canteen boy. <laughs> the quickest way to quench your thirst is to eating is eating snow. Take note that replenishes your fluids slightly and lowers your body temperature. That makes sense. 
You can find natural sources of water as well. Be careful with the hot springs as the waters are harmful to drink. Eat snow with G. Shit. It's empty. Well, we're going to eat snow, so just settle well, down, well, dude. There you go. There's eat. plenty of snow around here. There's plenty of snow around here, but yeah, look at the difference there. Hydrated, but our body temperature dropped like a rock. Where do we go now? Up here. 76 meters or whatever. Okay, well. Oh, we got to get the backpack. And how are we supposed to do that? Go up on this thing. Find your way to the backpack. Well, they help you, so that's good. I got to say, for being this, you know, for being this, for this being a demo, this is really, really good. We get up on this thing. These stupid wolves were the other night. Didn't enjoy that at all, game. Didn't enjoy it. All right, my, my heart has settled down a little bit here, but I, I have a feeling we're going to run into a bear or something stupid. Okay, we're doing okay now. Now, which way? Follow the walking bear tracks. And foot Called it. It doesn't look good. No, it doesn't look good. You have to check it out. No, you don't. Instinct mode. Your instinct will show you all the additional information about your condition, points of interest, and even your surroundings. Q is instinct mode. Boom. Eight away drop. Oh, there it is right there. Bear droppings, it looks like. Bear tracks. And it went that way. Oh, there you go. And we can turn it off there a little bit. Bear tracks. What was this thing, though? You see that? It was, like, lit up over here. This thing right here. Whoa. Raw potato. Oh, hell yes. Can we eat that? Yes, we can. I'm going to eat it. I think we're supposed to eat something. Ooh, find your way to the backpack. Follow the bear tracks. Okay, let's get our backpack first. Before we go, you know, following bear tracks. Okay, instincts. Anything else to eat around here? This is really well done, man. I was not, ex I don't know. I was not expecting this from this game. Okay, that's where we saw the bear tracks 52 meters that way, but we need to go this way to our backpack. What is that? It's a rock. <laughs> like it has some, okay. Oh, there's the backpack right there. All right, well, let's try this oh better this is getting careful. yeah better be careful is right can we get up on there can we get up on this no we can't okay we have to, oh, let's go up and over well maybe we can make the jump it seems like a bad idea somehow well let's go down this way there we go that's not too bad right can we get it Ooh, this is scary like oh ah! we're good i caught myself before i died all right, let's try that again. Oh, I have to go all the way around again. You have got to be kidding me. Meanwhile, we're just freezing, you know, frostbite, 5%, sanity loss, no big deal. Uh, why would that be a problem? We need to get back to our backpack. I feel like running might warm us up a little bit, but I don't think it is. We need to go up and over. We need to go up and over. So let's go up and over. More altitude, Jeff. Well, if we can find it. Oh, hot springs. Yes, that's what we need. The guys are, the guys are right here. Oh, yes. Oh, we're not freezing anymore. Just do it. Let's get warm, dude. All right, we're just going to chill here for a second and go up that right there. I'm just having some coffee here, and it is going up. It's just your body heat is going up slowly. So it's not something that happens just instantaneous. So keep that in mind. This is, uh, this is very interesting, I must say. Hey, look at that. We are warm. Okay. We're all good to go now. You have a little sun on that side over there. We're going to go up and over. I think that that's the best way. And I'm going to keep running here for now. Uh, maybe, maybe that hurts us. I'm, I mean, your stamina is something you don't want to mess with. Okay. Now we're approaching this from the right angle instead of down below. That was not good. I thought I could just go up there and reach and grab it, you know, but... Uh, evidently that is not the case. Okay. Whoa. Well, this doesn't look like a good idea. Looks like a drop down on that little ledge right there. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, we need to come down on that ledge. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Right, like this. And down onto there. Oh, we're back where we were. Well, I need to make it across onto that. Hmm. We just won't go down there this time. There's got to be a way to jump. Maybe I didn't realize you could jump up here like that. I'm an idiot. Got it. We got our backpack. Good. All right. Back to the bear tracks, I suppose. Well, we'll go and warm up first. Now that we know how to get over to the springs. 
I feel like this is going to be a bad idea. No, we're good. Yeah, let's go back and warm up at the springs before we go back. Oh, Mr. Geyser. Warm me on up. Right, neutral now. We're getting a little thirsty. I could eat some snow and then we could warm up again, but I think we're going to be okay. We're just going to go follow the bear tracks once we're at warm and we are just about there, right? There is good. All right, bear track time. Let's take it easy. Let's breathe. Breathing exercises, everybody. I know your your heart. Oh, that is blood. It and just I do. Keeps getting worse. Yeah, it keeps getting worse. Yeah. Every time he finds yeah, something, he's okay. like, dude, no. Oh, this is where we were. Okay, so follow the bear tracks with our instincts. And the bear was going this way. Okay. Following the bear tracks. Following the that's what the blood was right there. And we found the geyser over here. Oh, okay. There's the bear tracks here. Use your eight away drop. There you go, Jeff. Just like that. We went around this way. Why are we following bear tracks? It seems like a terrible idea, game. Terrible idea. By the way, I know the face cam's there, but if you look here, the temperature has dropped drastically. All right, bear tracks went this way. And there's a little, yeah, little temperature gauge up there. Oh, what is this? We're not doing this. Probably reached the other side, but now the bridge doesn't look very stable. Yeah, no, it doesn't. I'll find a way. You'll find a way. I'm just way. not ready yet. I'm just not ready yet. I think I saw their camp on the way. Really? I didn't see it. What's left. Okay. Objective updated. Investigate the camp. Oh, the camp is over here on the right. Ah. Well, that's good. There's a little camp here next to the geyser. That was smart of them to, to do that. They figured it all out, too. See, we're cold again. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. Well, let's warm up again. Let's try not to get killed. All right, nice and toasty. Let's go check out the camp. What happened? This looks terrible. There's nothing here, dude. Well, there's something right here. What's this? Nice. Ooh, our food ration. Hunger. You can find different types of food, which will affect your hunger differently. Cooking food is the best form of processing a meal. But for that, you need a fire camp, which we have. Cold food will not fill your stomach much, and sometimes you cannot eat it at all. Oh, now we have that satiated. Okay. I really need to eat something. Well, we ate that raw potato. I mean, that wasn't good enough for you, dude. All right, back to camp we go. No surprises, game. Don't throw anything at us here. <sighs> Keep my wits about me. That's what we got to do. Return to the fireplace. So they added that little thing there on the right now. So we have the little hunger, which, I mean, he's not absolutely famished. He is uh, satiated. Lost and found. Return to the fireplace. Yeah, we're going to. But I have a feeling this game is going to screw with it. Oh, actually, here's the... Ooh, look at that mountain. That's nice. Well, how are we going to get this? We don't even have any wood, you know? Last I checked, we don't have wood. Yeah, we don't have wood, dude. Of course. I'm out of wood. Thank you. Yeah, we had that to cut a tree. Cut a tree down. Oh, instinct mode. Did we miss something in here? Um, find a tool to cut the tree. Okay. There's something around here. Thing over here. Let's use that instinct mode. Aha! Axe! I see you. What do we have, have here? Axe and chopping wood. Open inventory and assign an axe to the quick slot. Pressing the number assigned to the quick slot will equip the axe. The larger the tree, the longer it takes to cut down. That makes sense. Um, go into our inventory here. And we got the axe here, and it's, I guess our quick slots are here? Aha, down here. We have two quick slots down there. That makes sense. All right, so I'll hit one. That's cool. He actually opens up the backpack. We have an axe. Ha <laughs> ha. We need a small tree. We don't need to use too much energy here. This one will do right here. This one will do nice. Ooh. It's got a good sound to it. There we go. I don't know if there's any technique involved here, but we're just going to keep hitting it. Oh, man. Yeah, that's using... We're a little peckish right now. Oh. Timber! Sorry, my voice is toast. Oh. No, it's not going yet. One more. Come on, dude. You kidding me? Are you messing with me right now, tree? You've got to be kidding me, dude. How many times we got to hit this thing? <laughs> Our luck. The tree fell into another tree. Can we... 
Hit it. Come on. I don't know if this is even worth our energy at this point. Yeah, he's already out, dude. What is our luck right there? Okay, well, try one that is... Uh, this, screw it. We'll go with this one here. We're gonna we're gonna take this one down. I don't think it matters the direction you're hitting this. I think we just got unlucky there. Come on, dude. I know. I know. We're it freezing to death. Oh, there we go. Come on, baby. There it went. Oh yes. We have to keep hitting it into smaller pieces. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. I guess just keep going. It's not doing a whole lot here though. Oh, there it went. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's getting it's getting closer. I guess you have to keep chopping at it here into smaller pieces. That makes sense. Cuz we don't have wood planks yet. Oh. There they are. Nice. Oh, yes. Oh, plenty of it too. Look at that. Okay, so the trees give you quite a bit of wood. That's good to know. All right. Okay. Enough excitement there. We could eat snow, but we're not going to do that. Oh, we're dehydrated as hell. Yeah, we're going to eat snow. Why wouldn't we? I need, I need to find some deeper snow. Deeper snow right there. Eat it. Well, we're going to get warm in a second. Just eat the damn snow, dude. We don't have any water yet. There we go. He's hydrated. All right, let's get some food rations cooking. Cook the food ration. All right, we have wood now. Beautiful. All right. There we go. Put a couple of those in there until it's full all the way up. Light it up. Aha! All right. It will take a while. Maybe I should look around a bit. Find fresh water. Yeah, maybe. Well, let's go ahead and hit... Um, I want to hit E. Okay. Uncooked food ration. Cooking fire right here. Uncooked ration. All right. And you can see it's climbing right there. That's neat. All right. So we're cooking that, which we need to do. Cook the food ration. That's part of this journey. But look at how fast you get warm with one of these compared to that geyser. That's actually pretty incredible. All right. We're going to wait for this to cook here, and then we're going to eat. And while we're waiting for this thing to cook, check it out. You have wooden log chunks, so that's a fuel time of two minutes. And then you have tree bark as well. Fuel time's only uh, about, well, zero five minutes. So I guess that means, yeah, like nothing. Five seconds, is that what they're saying? Tree bark is? Oh, we got it. All right. Um, eat the ration. Okay, how do we do that? Right click on it. Do we eat it? Oh, there it is right there. Okay. So now we could probably hit this. Get our backpack out. And eat the actual ration. Could have never tasted Just so like good. that. Oh, yeah. All right, refill the canteen. All right, time to rest. Energy bar. Yeah, see, that's what I was worried about. All your actions cost energy. When energy drops to zero, you will faint. If you faint, you will be exposed to weather conditions as well as lurking wild animals. To restore energy fully, you need to sleep. Tip. Think of energy as the amount of time you can spend exploring before going back to sleep. Strategic energy management is the key. Just like, you know, when you watch uh, Naked and Afraid or Alone, you know, energy is everything. So, to bed we go. Oh, what in the absolute hell is this sound? Dude. Uh-uh. That's a bear. That's a friggin' bear, dude. That's, that's a bear. I don't like it. Don't you barge. Oh, it's a bear. I can see him. Yep, it's a big grizzly. Shh, quit whimpering, dude. No, wait for him to leave. I don't have any real feel canteen. I don't want to go anywhere. That damn bear's out there. That was close. It's still there. 86 meters that if way. this bastard approached from the other side, I would be dead by now. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. Meet your neighbor. I don't want to meet my neighbor. The bear. There's the bear tracks. He's bleeding. Oh, he's hurt. Well, we can eat him. Well, I mean. Meet your neighbor. Investigate the shelter from the outside. Investigate the blood stains. That's what we're doing. He went that way. Well, maybe not. Something over here too. There's tracks. What's this? I should fix this right away. Yes, you should. All right, fixing the shelter. Activate the instinct mode to find out what's the shelter status. 
Interact with fixable objects once you collect materials that they require. Fixed shelters allow you to sleep safely overnight and maintain a warm temperature. You'll find ways of sleeping in the wild as a last resort. Remember that being exposed to nature can kill you. Yeah, we know. All right, so what do we need to fix this with? E, shelter wall hole. We need more stuff. So craft the planks, zero of 12. Oh man, we're gonna chop some wood down to fix this, aren't we? So a lot of stuff here. We fill the canteen, meet our neighbor, which we already know is a bear of some sorts and then investigate the blood stains and craft the planks. Okay. Well, I mean, that's something to do. That's for certain. So back to our ax. We need a lot more wood. I think we're going to tear this one down right here. This is a big tree. It's going to take forever to knock it down, but man, I want everything out of it. And it's by itself. I don't think it's going to get hung up on anything either. That look, took a lot of energy, but she's coming down. Oh, baby. All right. Back to dude. All right, back to it. I get to oh, our crafting table's over there. But I want to get more wood planks. I'm sure we're going to need them. That would make sense, you know, for the wall. Okay, this is a big tree. Why did we go with this? And look at our energy getting used up because we're stupid. I mean, it's working. It's just taking a minute. This is a big, thick tree. So clearly this is indeed mod. Okay, there we go. That's a big log. And turn this into smaller pieces so we get some planks. It says to craft the planks, and that would make sense. There we go, wooden planks, or log chunks. Let's get a bunch of these, okay. We'll come back for, the, well, let's just go ahead and get as much as we can now. I'm sure we're gonna need it. They say zero of 12, so we have to craft planks. And we still have some wood left over from, you know, the night before, but I'd rather just get as much of this as we can now. And that will be that. He can carry a lot of wood, that's good. And we still have another log up there, so let's go down here. I don't know why I'm running with an axe. That's probably a terrible idea. A really bad idea, especially if you're by yourself, you know? So we need to craft inside of our little cabin here. Open this up, close it, of course. All right, this is our little crafting table. Crafting, you can craft items on the crafting tables. Pick the crafting recipe on the right side and click craft to craft a selected item. Upon selecting a recipe, you will uh, see it's required items. Okay, gotcha. All right, so this makes sense. Uh, we want to go into the crafting mode and we have all this stuff. So crafted items, select schematic, plank. We just need 19 of these bad boys. And look at that, or of one. Oh, fabric, oh, what? Okay, that's for fabric and that's for a bear trap. Nice, okay, we can craft planks and there it goes. Now we have two of those and we need to make 12 of them. Okay, let's keep doing that. And this should do it right this here. Looks fine. Okay, yep, we're good. Objective updated. Let's let's fix this place. That sun goes down. All right. And then we'll investigate the blood stains. Don't worry. We'll be all right on that. Okay, can we fix it now, please? Oh, we are. Okay, it's not great, but it will keep me safe. It literally still, did nothing. I've got to cover the roof somehow. Cover the roof. Fix the sheltered roof. Oh man, it just gets better and better, doesn't it? Yeah, we're, this is where we're supposed to be. They're talking about the roof. But we need to come back here and see where this bear went from last time. We're not going to start this quest off with freezing. We're going to go make ourselves a fire. That's what we're going to do. Bam, 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 bam. Light up. This ought to get us warm fast. And in fact, the fire always does warm you up pretty darn quickly. All right, we're nice and warm. Let's get going. I was stupid. I put too much wood on the fire, but that's all right. Does it make smoke out of the chimney? No, it doesn't look like it does. That's kind of sad, right? It's a little shad. 86 meters this way. I don't think, okay, that's ice. Ooh, yep, we can just slide right across that. No problem. Ooh, I don't like this. All right, 46 meters this way. Did our bear friend die over here or something? That sounds like a bear over there. I don't like that. Oh, drink it from the canteen. Okay, so here we go. Inventory assigned the canteen to the quick slot. You got it there. Um, if you use the canteen over the water, it will be refilled. Okay, cool. Well, good to know. Turn that off. I heard a bear, dude. There's nothing but scary ass stuff happening here right now. Okay, let's... Let's equip our canteen here. 
Canteen goes into two. There we go. And then we'll grab it. That sounds terrible. What in the absolute hell is that? Okay. Get some water. You just use it right here. Okay, there you go. We got it. We got it. Sweet. Now we can drink. Because we are thirsty right now. Let's see if we can... Water cap, icy water. Okay, maybe we just have to use it with two. I'm trying to figure this out here. Yep, okay. That's how you drink. Good to know. Well, hydrated too. Icy. Yeah, because it's cold water. Let's go ahead and fill it back up. Since we're here, you know, why not? There you go. Get as much. Whoa, right into the rock like that, dude. All right, investigate blood stains. That's what they want us to do still. I thought we did that already, but I guess not. That's okay. Have water, have food. I have water. I have food. I have a roof above my head. It's hard. Yeah, well. But I can do it. You can do it, dude. I like the. I have to. I like the positivity. That's what we need. We need to keep positive here. All right. Yeah, there's something going on here with the blood stains. I'm not sure where they want us to go to see the blood stains. There's branches here. Okay. Well, that's good to know. There's bear drop. Oh, tracks, not droppings, but. Okay, I think that the blood stains is going to be continuing. Look at that. The fire is still going in here. I love it. So it wasn't a bad idea to use that since we were staying nearby. That makes sense. We'll get warm here and we're going to get going. Okay, we're going to go down our little ice slide here for now. I want to kind of stick to these little valleys. I don't think that a bear or a wolf will have any traction. So trying to be smart about it. Remember, we have a flashlight if we need it. Because I'm sure it's going to be nighttime soon. You know you know how these games go, man. They want to terrify me here. I can feel it. Coming in the air tonight. 152. I, well, we have to get the parachute. And the parachute was... It is back this way, actually. I remember. That might be where we're going. I'm still not sure about the investigating the bloodstains. I think that's still back at our place. Stupid. No, 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 no. Alright. I can just feel it. I can feel it. Dude, something's coming. Something then is coming soon. Let's keep climbing, buddy. We have to, yeah, we have to crouch underneath and go back to the parachute. I remember this part. Crouch. There it is. Oh, man. It's a combat car. Dead. So apparently, you know, somebody parachute. It's got to be a plane crash issue or something. I have to get this parachute off the tree. Well, chop the person yeah. down. I could just get rid of the whole tree. Yep, that would do it. We have we have the means for that. Let's get that flashlight on, buddy. Let's get to work. So not only making uh, you know, tree bark and wood and all that, we're we're gonna bring the parachute down as well. Poor guy. Oh my god. Well, that wasn't good. We grab it? Yep, we can grab it. We got the parachute. Let's get the hell out of here. I have a dude, I wonder if I could hit a animal with the axe. Turn that off. All right. Yeah, they want us to get back to the crafting table to fix the shelter roof. I'm just going to keep... Oh, that was a bear for a second. We're good. We're good. I'm not messing around, guys. This game is actually really creepy. Like, the feel of it. The graphics are amazing. The sound is incredible. Oh, there's a dead animal here. Can we eat it? I wouldn't want to eat this. Nope. Oh. That is horrific. And you know that the, ah, that sun's going down. Let's get back to the house, please. Don't like the sound of that. Do not like the sound of that. All right, flashlight on. I'm just waiting. I don't like that. You're going to hear that a lot today. I don't like that. I don't like that because I don't. All right, dude. Oh, that sun goes down quick. Let's get the hell out of here. I will fight anything with my axe. I will tell you that right now. Oh, bad choice. Yep, go around this way, Jeff. All right, let's watch our leg. And we have that sprain. Okay, they want us to craft a parrot oh, with the parachute. They want us to craft fabric. Okay. Oh, my fire's still in here? It was in here. Nope, it's gone. Well, you know what? We're going to be here for a second, so we're already cold. Let's just go ahead and start start with some more fire. 
There we go. Just light that up for now. Two, two will work for now, I suppose. There we go. Warm up, dude. We're going to warm up. Then we're going to head over to the crafting table and fix our roof. The thing is, is I'm wondering if once we fix the roof, it's actually going to do something here. I don't know. We'll have to see. All right, fabric. We have a parachute for that. Craft it up. We have it. All right, fabric. Quickly put together fabric. How many we need? One. Yeah, zero of one. Okay. Should be able to fix that roof now. There we go. Oh, it's putting the planks. This should keep the warmth inside. Okay, I think that did it. It doesn't show anything here. Oh, actually, that was all done up now. But the roof is still screwed. Um... Well, that was that, though. We did it. Fabric 1.5. Okay. Yeah. Investigate the blood stains. Are they still on about these blood stains? Which is here. All right. This. We have to use our instincts to find the blood stains. Is that what's happening here? I guess we're going to follow our tracks up this way. What is that up there? It looks like a wolf or something. Probably is a wolf. The way he came from, I'm thinking I'm going to have to do this because I don't see any other blood stains around the house. And I looked. So I'm either I'm doing something wrong or who knows. But I thought I saw a wolf over here. I did not like it. Okay, I see tracks all the way over here. Something up here. I'm just going to follow it back for now. We're fatigued. Can't sprint. I know. I'm not trying to sprint either. Following the tracks back up this way, there seems to be something over here. There's a crow cawing about. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Something here. Ah! Why is it so scary? Oh, my God, dude. Screw you, you stupid crows. Bye. Oh, I got chills. I got goose bumpies. I don't like it. All right. We're investigating blood stains, I suppose, because we need to find out where the blood stains get. Oh, there's a tower up here. Ooh, raw potato. Raw potato for me. Raw potato for you. Yeah, okay, we're good on the flashlight for now. Yep, there's something over here. Yeah, I think this is what they want us to do. Investigate the blood stains by following the tracks back the way he came. There's blood here. I don't know what this is, though. What is this thing? Oh, blood stains. Yep. We did it. Oh, pick up a trap part. Oh, geyser. Oh, we can get warm. You know what this game is waiting for us to. This is a trap. I have a feeling. It's a trap. One. You kidding me? Nothing coming out of that? Oh, I thought it was going to be a fun geyser for us. Pick up a trap part. All right, let's go over this way. That's what it is right here. So he got into the trap, into the bear trap part. There it is. Come on. They have to get just right. See, got it. A hunting trap. Hunting trap. Yep. And there's Too a thing up there. For the bear, but I can use it elsewhere. Yes, we can. Meet I if there your neighbor. I'm sure there is trap. A trap is the only way to catch a rabbit. Most traps are broken, but you may encounter armed ones. Do not step on them. Collect broken parts. To fix traps into working condition or even craft your own. Oh, cool. Find the second trap part in the area. Okay, so it's over here. We are moving so slow. Oh, <gasps> rabbit. I see a little rabbit. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. How are you today? Oh, you are going to... Can I just hit him with the axe? Oh, he's fast. No, he can't. Just drink. Okay, we're good. Pick that up. Now that. I can fix this. There's another de Ooh, raw rabbit meat. We'll take that. Tools inside the shelter. Proper tools inside the shelter. Oh, look at this. You can see the tracks that were... Is that our tracks? Yeah, it is. That's cool. All right. Let's just... No surprises, okay? Are we cool, game? No surprises, right? You're not going to throw anything at me. We're trying to get back to our house. Oh, we can breathe again. Well, no, we're not back yet, and it's a long trek. It took a while to get up here, as it is. I'm just keeping my eyes out. I will fight a damn coyote if I have, or a wolf, if I have to, with my axe. I don't care. 
There's one thing I remember in Kona, man. The wolves just scare the hell out of you. They hunt you. They follow you everywhere you go. Something down there. That's cool. Okay. I can pick up. Ooh, I can get water here in my canteen. That's actually not a bad idea. Yep. So there's a stream right here, too. Good to know. Get our axe back out. We need a weapon at all times. There's our other log up there. We could probably grab that on the way in. Oh, we have frostbite, though. No. Nope. Yeah, we can't run. This is as fast as he goes right now. We have all, we have frostbite. We just need to get down here and get, get warm again. Very eerie and quiet right now. A little too quiet. We're almost back to our cabin. Our cabin in the woods. Okay, we're good. All right, we need to repair. We have to craft the repaired part. Okay, cool. Close that. Let's make ourselves a fire because this dude is about, like, you know, hurt. He's hurting pretty bad right now. Light it up. And we're going to eat that potato, too, because we're a little, a little peckish right now. I don't think we can. Can we actually cook the potato? Maybe we can. It's a raw potato, but can we cook it? Well, we can cook it. And the rabbit meat. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, look at that. It puts it on the fire. That is amazing. Okay. We're at neutral now, so we're okay on that for now. I'm over here. And we need to craft a repaired trap part, which is this. There we go. Okay. And set the trap. Set up a trap as soon as I can. Yeah, we want to get a rabbit. Little rabbit. All right, let's keep an eye on this. Potato will be done soon. Oh, we're having ourselves a feast tonight. Yes. Rabbits. Rabbit and potatoes. That actually sounds really good. I'm hungry right now, and I, I could eat. Well, I wouldn't want... Uh, was it a Hassan pfeffer? What is it called? Hassan pfeffer? The name of rabbit. But potatoes sounds good. I'll eat potatoes. But that rabbit's looking damn good, man. Our potatoes are done, so we are going to move them. There we go. Potatoes are done. And waiting on the rabbit here. But we can eat this. That was delicious. Fire roasted potato. Hell yeah. Rabbit is almost done. I gotta say, you know, so far I'm really, really enjoying this game. It's a little scary sometimes, but the realism is just amazing. There we go. We ate our rabbit. Cooked rabbit meat. Hell yeah. And we are well fed. Absolutely. All right, time to go set the trap 170 meters away in the night. Well, I mean, it's a bet. You know, you might as well do it at night. But we'll get a rabbit in the morning. I don't know. But I have a feeling we're going to have a visitor. But oh, we can run again. Yes. All right, we don't want to spend much time out here. We need to sprint when we can. I mean, his energy is getting low, but this is, the, this is probably the last thing we have to do for the day, I'd imagine. Oh, it's way up here. Well, we know where the stupid rabbits were hanging out. And they were over here, so. No surprises, right? We're going to be good. Oh, literally where the where the rabbits were is where we need to set it. Okay, right here. There we go. Meet your neighbor. Quest completed. Done. Better leave it alone. Oh! <laughs> Oh, there he is! No, 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 This is... Fuck! And that is Winter Survival Simulator right there. How about it? I enjoyed this game. I thought it was awesome. I actually am looking forward to it being released. I think that'll be awesome. I truly do. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you all very soon. Take care. Just want to let you guys know that uh, merch is available if you check out the link in the description below. And uh, there should be some images you can click on below the video as well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it.